All right, I had a viewer who was interested in the uh, accuracy of uh, resistance measurements. So the real part of uh, the values this thing gets. Um, in a Smith chart, you get a real plus an imaginary. Uh, the real is along the x-axis, and the imaginary goes plus and minus. So plus is uh, inductance, minus is capacitance. So um, we're going to be looking at the real part and see how um, see how that does. And uh, we're going to be using a, uh, a decade box. Uh, this decade box is uh, calibrated, well, it gives its uh, accuracy to 0.05%, so that should be good enough for us. And uh, so let's get this thing set up. Um, the font size is very, very small on the VNA, and so I'm going to use a macro lens uh, and uh, when you put this thing into CW mode, which is zero sweep, it actually then will provide you with, um, well, I guess it always does at the marker site. Um, it gives you, in the upper right-hand corner, it actually gives you the, uh, 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 the real inductance, or the real, real, real resistance, and uh, we'll zoom in on that so you can see it. And then we'll dial in different resistances and see how uh, how it does. All right, so hopefully you can read that in the upper corner there. Uh, I cannot. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let me... Uh, I guess this will work. Boy, even I can't read that on the uh, on the macro. Let's see. Okay, now I can read it. Uh, it's giving us. Uh, it's kind of bouncing around because it's not hooked up to anything. So let's hook it up to the resistance box. Let's just dial in 50 ohms to start with. So there we go, 50 ohms, and you can see that uh, we're here at the uh, at the center, and we're actually measuring 50.2 ohms. That 0.2 ohms might be the cable length. I didn't calibrate out the cable, so 50.2. So we'll say that there's probably a, a 2 ohm, um, 0.2 ohm uh, uh, overhead in the in the system here. Now we are um, looking at 50 50 kilohertz. Uh, so that's as slow as this thing will go. So here's uh, 50. Here's 60, so it's 60.1, 70, 70.2, 70 80, 80.1, 90, 90.1, and we have to go around to zero, and we'll put in, there we go, 99.9, uh, 9, uh, 120, so I say it's doing really well. Let's go up by hundreds here. Here's 200 ohms, uh, 199, 300 ohms, uh, 298, 400 ohms, 395. So I say it's doing really, really well. Let's go down. Uh, let's say here, here's 10 ohms, 10.1, 20, 30, 40, 50. Yeah, this thing's great. This thing's very, very accurate. So uh, let's put it on zero. It's measuring 100 milli ohms. Interesting. And then let's put it on something really big. Let's put it on. Um, let's see. This is uh, kilo ohms. One kilo ohm. Uh, it's measuring nine. What is it? 967. And let's do a 10k. 10K is measuring uh, 3.3.8K, so it doesn't do doesn't do well above about 5K, I'd say. So let's go to 3K, 2.4, yeah, 1.0. So I say anything above a K, one uh, 1,000 ohms. Anything above 1,000 ohms, it's not giving us very good readings. But between zero and 1,000 ohms, it's doing very very well. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty, that is pretty cool. Okay, so uh, this Decade box, of course, is going to have a lot of inductances in it, and that's why I used it at, um, at 50 kilohertz. So this is a sweep right now of um, 
50 kilohertz to 3 megahertz, only 3 megahertz. And you can see even at 3 megahertz we're getting this huge um, inductance uh, coming in here. Uh, it's saying here Smith chart 60, so it's gone up to 60 ohms off up there, and it says it's at 4 microhenries. So there's 4 microhenries of inherent uh, inductance in this, uh, in this box. Um, so, yeah, so be careful when you're making these measurements. Um, uh, I don't know of a good uh, <laughs> decade box that's good to, uh, good to a gigahertz, so uh, maybe somebody else does, but uh, this is what I've got. So anyway, I'd say that the uh, real part of the calibration is quite good, and uh, uh, anything above that, um, anything above a one kilohertz, uh, one kilo ohm, uh, be wary. And um, when you're using any type of setup, make sure you're worried about the inductance. Uh, of course, if you're measuring an actual device, you do care about the inductance, so that might actually be what your circuit does. So um, there you go.